Thanks for coming by and checking out Pete's Snake Bite Kit again. What we're talking about on this one, if you haven't been here before, this is about building my Cobra. It's a Hurricane Motorsports Shelby Cobra. I've been wanting to do this forever. And what I've been doing on this series of videos about my build is I'm trying to show you the easy stuff, the hard stuff, just give you a better idea what it would be like in real life if you were to tackle your own build. So let's take a closer look. So the detail we're gonna talk about is gonna be the hinges. So for the ones I'm looking at, there's hinges for the doors and hinges for the hood and hinges for the trunk. The ones we'll look at today are the hinges for the trunk and the hood. They're almost the exact same mechanism. And some of the things on this build, and I'm sure this is like most kits, you just bolt the stuff together. A lot of it was. There's some really good thought put into this build by Hurricane. It's a very well-made kit. There are some things you've just got to figure out how to do it and make it happen. And this is kind of a medium one here. I don't think it's any big deal, but I just thought you might find it interesting what it takes to go from what you get in the kit to actually making a hinge that you can put a hood on or a trunk on. So let's take a closer look at that. Here's the hinges we've been talking about. Um, sent me a whole bag of these bushings, even actually more than I needed. These bushings go through this hinge piece. As you can see, these bushings are longer than they need to be, so we need to trim those. Once we get them trimmed down, we'll need to make some spacers for it to fit in here. So let's trim these down, get some things to fit. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna make a mark on these bushings, right where I need to trim them off. And then we're gonna take those and cut those down. Okay, pop this baby in the vise. And we're going to chop away at this guy. And there we have it. All right, so now we've got those bushings cut. Put one in here, one in here. Then this will fit in here, but we're going to need some bushings in there. So here's what I did for that. Okay, so if we measure this, We've got 822, and we measure this, and we've got one 782. Let's figure out what size bushing we need here. So if our bracket is inch 782 wide, and we subtract the thickness of this, which is 0.822, we've got 0.96. I want to divide that by two so I know how big those spacers need to be. Hey, we got 480, so a little under a half inch. Okay, I got some of these bushings from the hardware store, and these are one inch. I want to make them half inch. Something I did to mark these is I took a tubing cutter, and I centered this tubing cutter in there, so I'm cutting, making a mark at a half inch. Now I can see where I want to cut that in half. So let's chop it in half. All right, now we got these cut. Get the magic rattle can. Just pull a little bit of paint on them. All right, so we got those bushings cut to size, put in the hinge, and then these spacers cut to size. And then what I did is double nutted this here so that these nuts will stay on, but we're not putting too much tension on there. So we've got a hinge that'll swing. Let's put it in the car. And there we go. Now we've got the hinge installed. It's adjustable up and down once we get the body on. And there we go. What do you think? So there you have it. That's the hinge. That was, of course, uh, the right rear one, the passenger side for the trunk. There's two just like that for the hood and so on. And it isn't a huge deal. Just thought you might find that interesting, some details of what it takes building a kit. Hey, I hope you find the kit you want to build. And if you build one of these, you're going to love it. Thanks for watching. Pete Snakebite Kit.